David Willemont was born in 1814 in Pennsylvania and later became a political figure that was against the expansion of slavery. While Willemont wanted to prevent slavery's expansion, he didn't necessarily want it to end and thus was not considered an abolitionist. Eventually, he was elected to join the House of Representatives. Willemont supported the Mexican War and thus took part in some serious decision-making that had to be done upon its end. Naturally, after America gained the land from winning the Mexican War, the decision of whether or not slavery would be present in the new territory arose. After voting down the proposal that suggested the 3630 line be extended to the Pacific Coast, Wilmot presented his own solution. This solution became known as the Wilmot Proviso. The Wilmot Proviso suggested that slavery be banned in all of the territory that was gained in the Mexican War. As expected, the Proviso passed in the House of Representatives, where the northern states had a higher level of representation. However, it failed in the Senate, where the South had a greater advantage. The Wilmot Proviso also was attempted to be fit into the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo, but that did not end up happening either. This kind of sectional conflict between the states continued up until the Compromise of 1850. The following excerpt from Tighten Up by the Black Keys describes what kind of condition the pre-Civil War United States was in. Please have a listen. Big boy days, so many ways I'm aching now, I'm aching now Times like these, I need relief Please show me how, oh show me how To get right 